Hey everybody, I'm Keychain. Uh, today we have a new event in the Ants Underground Kingdom, and this is the Anniversary Celebration Sign-Up event, as well as the Colony Anniversary Celebration. So um, I'm going to cover these in just a second. I just wanted to quickly mention, as I will in every video, that if you're in a region with the Amazon App Store, you should check that out. Uh, I'm working on getting a special deal uh, for Amazon for some extra percentages off uh, some of the packs. So look out for that in the future. Hopefully we'll get that rolling out uh, next month sometime. Okay, so the anniversary celebration sign up. This one is pretty simple. This one is just a check in every day, collect rewards. So we're going to get some creature remains. We're going to get a portrait, uh, some speed ups, a couple of eggs, uh, and then some more speed ups. And then of course, honeydew, but I have so much honeydew it doesn't really matter to me. Um, and then the next piece of this is the colony anniversary celebration. So there's a couple of pieces to this. One, it's an alliance event. So your whole alliance contributes to level up this cake. And as you increase the levels, you gain gathering bonus and the amount of days that you retain the bonus after the event ends, or after the cake day event ends, uh, increases to 10. So, you know, that looks like if we get it to level 25, that there's a 20% gathering bonus, uh, 10 days retaining, and a gift level. Um, so how do you level the cake? Um, you collect honey, and you send your ants to the cake to deliver the honey, and that builds the cake. So to get the honey, if you click up here in the corner, you can see this little plus. For getting activity points up to 500, which I've already done for the day, you're going to gain a bunch of honey. You gain 10 for 50 points, 10 for 100, 10 for 200, etc., all the way up. And then you gain a ton of these honeys for hunting lizards, hunting wild creatures, and doing your duel of queens. So you can get 70 honey for hunting wild creatures, but that also means you have to hunt 70 wild creatures, which is a lot. Um, hunting the lizard 10 times will give you honey and it gives you three honey um, for hunting the lizard. So that is 1.5 honey per 10 energy compared to just one honey per 10 energy for hunting wild creatures. So if you're trying to maximize your honey on a limited supply of stamina, you should first hunt lizards with your alliance to get those 10 done and then hunt wild creatures with the rest. Sorry, my voice is getting a little raspy. Let me get a drink of water here. <clears throat> so if you're trying to maximize your honey, do the lizards first. Uh, make sure you do your activity every day and then hunt wild creatures with the rest of your stamina. Um, now the cake is positioned by the leader or an R4. So once the cake is down, it stays there. So the cake for me is about 29 feet away. but when I was going to deliver, you just hit this and you can deliver one at a time or you can deliver 10. And then it sends a march. It doesn't take any stamina. It doesn't do anything like that. It just sends you to deliver the honey. Um, it's, you know, not too bad. Now, other pieces of this event. Um, looking at this piece of it, actually, let's go back here first. So level rewards. So the anniversary cake leveling rewards. Um, these rewards are pretty decent. Um, looking at the first set, we get a whole bunch of these cell fluids just for donating five honey and having the cake at level one. So then once the cake reaches level two, as long as you have an individual contribution of at least a hundred honey or of at least 10 honey, you're going to gain these rewards here. When it cake reaches level three, if you have at least 20 honey delivered, you're going to get these. Uh, and that's not hard to reach considering that you get like 120 honey a day just for doing your activity. Um, you can see that I've already delivered 100 honey to this. Um, so I'm good all the way through cake level 7 for the rewards. So as the cake levels up, I'll gain rewards. Uh, and we are in a big alliance, so I anticipate that we will be able to level the cake up pretty easily. Um, because 1600 is an easy goal when you're getting... You know, if you're getting 100, at least let's say on average, 100 honey per member times 100 members, you know, it's it's pretty easy when you're gaining 10,000 points a day to get 1,600 for this first level. 
And I'm guessing it increases as they go. Maybe the next level is 1,800 and then 2,000 and then 2,200 or maybe it goes up by 500. But it's going to go up each level, I'm sure. Okay. <clears throat> the second piece of this, Alliance Celebrations. Now, this one is... This is whale bait. <laughs> um, there are some good things about this. So... It looks like each day has different things that you need to do or each piece of the celebration. Um, like this one is 1,500 activity points. So just doing your activity points every day, um, you're going to gain the points you need um, to, to unlock this. And these, these chests seem like they could be good, right? So you can get orange shell fragments, um, tertiary eggs. You can gain a three-star lucky um, orange insect egg. Um, or a two-star insect egg, um, spores, etc. But there's a chance to gain 10 eggs with this at a 10% chance. Now, it's a loot box. It's a gambling box. But, I mean, it would be cool to open one and hit 10 tertiary eggs. That'd be fantastic. So, to get a tick up here where it says, see this six, one, two, three, four, five, six, to gain these rewards, you have to finish all the events in one of these days. And I did that already with this one. Um, use any type of speed up 50 times. Now, I'll tell you a little cheat for this. It just says use it 50 times. There's no amount of hours. I used 50 one minute speed ups and completed this and got all these rewards. So if you're watching this video and you haven't done that yet, go use 50 minutes of speed ups and complete this. Um, day three, using tertiary eggs. You have to use 200 tertiary eggs to unlock this day, this is why I think this event is um, whale bait because 95% of us are not going to get 200 tertiary eggs to open um, during this event unless, you know, in seven days, unless, of course, maybe they're going to give us a bunch of tertiary eggs or maybe these packs do have a high proc rate of that 10 tertiary egg, but I think this is unrealistic here. Uh, in addition to this celebration event four purchasing eight time limit anniversary packs and you know purchasing one you're going to gain an exotic shell and a 10 year anniversary chest and some resources purchasing three you're going to gain another egg another pack and some resources but the packs aren't cheap um they're very expensive and you can't even see what the last two days are until it unlocks in two days so those things could be even more ridiculous. So don't even push this until you know what the last two days are. And then you can math out and figure out if it's worth it to you to gain some exotic shells and a couple of anniversary chests um, or this fragment or uh, the, the portrait. Like if those things are what you want to spend for and that's what you want to go for, by all means. But for me, this one's a hard pass. Um, and looking at the packs... The lowest pack is $10. So it's, you know, getting one of these chests and five eggs for 10 bucks and some resources. Um, for $20, you're getting resources in two of these chests. For $50, look at this, like, and then there's two $50 packs, $200 packs, and then these lower packs. And there's only one of each. So you'd have to buy out four of these packs so you're going to be spending a hundred and thirty dollars to buy four of these packs and then in four days do it again so you're going to spend 280 dollars to complete this day to gain these rewards here so an extra 14 eggs for these packs and an exotic shell and that'll advance you one tick to gain some more fragments and another exotic shell. I just, I don't think this one's worth it. Okay. Um, other than that, I mean, participate in this piece of it, at least, you know, get your level up rewards, collect your honey, do your regular things. Um, and maybe your alliance will level up and you get some extra bonus stuff. I think it's a, it's an okay event. Um, <clears throat> I would have much preferred that, as an anniversary celebration event that it was more free-to-play friendly as far as everything went. I would have liked to 
be able to obtain this this portrait as like an anniversary thing like i was here for the anniversary kind of deal but you know without having to spend three hundred dollars i just i don't think that that's um a very good celebration so okay um i think that's it for this video remember to hit the like and subscribe and share the videos if you like them and i'll see you in the next video